Today's episode is part two flight attendant stories. A couple weeks ago I did a post about things that happen on the plane that you would never expect to happen on the plane. Let me tell you some more stories. But I used to fly on the Airbus A380, so it's a double decker. Up to 427 people on the bottom level, 76 people in business class and 14 people in first class. And when you get that amount of people in one vessel, something's about to go down. On your meal tray, you get a few items. So you get your main meal, about that size. You get a little side of salad, your teacup, a little dessert dish that's about this small. You get your calorie cheese, crackers to go with that cheese. From here you get a little chocolate, and then you get this tiny little milk. It's like mini sides. It's for one serving of either tea or coffee. When we used to do the main meal service, there would be a cart in front of us. That would be the person serving the actual main meal, and I was the person at the back with the bar cart. The bar cart is the one where you offer the drinks, the passengers. They already have the main meal. And I go to this passenger. Hi, sir. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, sure. Water. Right. Pour the water. Not that I mean to intrude or look at what you're doing with your tray. You're there. I'm here. I'm going to be able to see what you're doing. I notice the gentleman takes the milk, pours it onto the chicken and vegetables. Ugh. I kind of feel like that's not a good combination. I'm just going to have my chicken and my potatoes and my milk. Okay, whatever, it's all food. Who cares? Okay, let's move on. There are some airlines which you, where you can order a cake. Let's say you know someone who's going to be traveling on that flight and they've got something to celebrate. You can actually order a cake. One flight I had, I had a lovely colleague who was actually also Filipino. The Filipinos are just so happy, easygoing, and just love to sing. I love us. Anyway, this lovely colleague of mine actually had the ability to sing. This is quite a thing with Filipinos. I did not get that gene, but if I did, um, my colleague, and he had a beautiful singing voice, he was singing as he was doing his work, and I just said to him, hey, do you want to be the one to take the cake out to the lady, to her birthday, and then you could sing. When I said you can sing, I generally meant like, you can sing happy birthday, not always. So my awesome, awesome colleague took the cake to the lady. Hello, madam. Got a cake for you. Every night in my dreams. Actually, the lady kind of enjoyed it and so did the rest of us. The awesome thing was like on the plane, we did have the ability to show a bit of personality. It wasn't one of those airlines where you had to sort of hold your personality back because, you know, standards. Okay, I'm going to tell you one last story, but this one actually happened and I was the person who did the thing that you're not meant to do. I had a flight to Portugal, to Lisbon. I was a new senior at this time. I had three casualties. One on ground, a lady was projectile vomiting onto the mirror. We had paramedics come on board, examine her, suggested that she be offloaded, but she chose not to. Right after takeoff, I have another gentleman who fainted in the middle of the aisle. And upon fainting, he hit his head on the armrest. As he was coming to consciousness and being taken care of, about three rows forward of him, there was a gentleman who all of a sudden started convulsing. And so it was quite a hectic situation. The main thing was that every, everyone was all right. So I am exhausted, I go to the back galley. All I want is a glass of water. Before I go forward, let me tell you what happens with drinks. Uh, we serve drinks on the plane in these clear plastic cups. When we do sort of a round of drinks, that comes on comes on a tray, right? And that can be a mix of different drinks, orange juice, apple, pineapple, man, whatever, whatever. It's all mixed on a tray. When we collect the rubbish, these go on a tray. So you got tomato juice, oh, you collect some of the got Pepsi in there, put that in there, and then you put all the empty ones and pile them on top of each other. Oh, here's a pineapple juice, let me just pop that in the one which already has liquid in it. Back to my story. I saw this tray and it had a mix of drinks. And I found this one, which to me looked like apple juice. Take the apple juice, drink it. But there's like some thoughts. This apple juice tastes a little bit diluted. Tastes a little less sweet. I gulp it down in slow motion. There was a chewing gum and it fell into my mouth. I was very stressed as a senior flight stewardess. Three medicals, someone faints, like, 
Are they alive? Um, did they break their neck? How about that woman who was projectile vomiting and refused to get off the flight? I get it. You want to get me to them? I'm just saying. That was a stressful situation, so I might have misjudged. I did misjudge, and I drank a mocktail of disgusting saliva backwash, apple juice, some water, some used up chewing gum. Yeah. Look at me now, I'm still alive. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna leave it at that. If you think that you've had a bit of a tough day today, first just think of the girl who drank a mixture of everyone else's backwash saliva juice. <laughs> and thanks for viewing. Please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or if you would like to hear some additional stories, know more about flight attending or travel things, please pop your questions and comments below. See you guys next week.